I almost got hit by a car. I was texting my friend back, and I started crossing the street without looking. I'm so glad that you're okay, but you should spend less time on your phone and more time paying attention. Hi, I'm Zach, and you're listening to Keys for Kids. I'm so glad that you're here. This year for Christmas, my parents gave me money to help me upgrade my phone, and I love it. But, well, I still have to be careful that I don't spend all my time watching videos, scrolling through social media, and sending snaps to my friends. If you have trouble setting limits on your tech, remember this. Your phone can never give you everything your heart needs. Only God can do that. Check out Philippians 4.19. It says, And my God will give you everything you need because of his great riches in Christ Jesus. Our story today is called Unavailable Part 1. Bzzz. Shay looked down at her phone. There was a new text from her friend Kiara. Hey, you coming to the game Friday? Shay's thumbs flew across the screen. Definitely. Shay, her mother called out. Shay looked up to see her little brother Henry struggling to carry three plates of food to the table at once. Shay grabbed two of them just in time. Sorry she said. Just working out some plans with Kiara for Friday night. "Uh Uh-huh, said her mom. Well, what do you think about my idea for rearranging the living room? Um, what was it again? asked Shay. Mom sighed. That's it. No more phones while setting the table. The next morning, Shay got another text from Kiara on her way to school. Meeting at Brinley's for pizza tomorrow before the game. Shay was texting her response when a loud honk pierced her ears. She looked up to see a car headed straight for her. Shay dove back toward the sidewalk and fell to the ground as the car sped by. Pain shot through her hands where they had scraped against the concrete. She groaned. I must have started crossing the street without looking at the light, she thought. Shay ran back home. When she walked in, Mom gasped. Shay, what happened? She asked as she took out the first aid kit. Shay began to cry as she explained her close encounter with the car. After Shay finished her story, Mom took a deep breath. Oh, honey, I know you want to stay connected with your friends, but I think we need to set some boundaries for your phone going forward. Shay nodded. I often feel like I need to respond right away when someone texts me, even when it's not a good time. Mom gave her a hug. God loves us so much, and he's there for us whenever we need him. But unlike God, we can't be available for everyone's needs all the time, and sometimes for our own safety and well-being, or to give our full attention to those who are with us in person, we need to turn off our phones and wait to respond. Let's talk some more about it and then pray and ask Jesus to give you wisdom in how to use your phone. Well, what about you? Do you use phones, computers, and other technology wisely? Sometimes it can be hard to know when it's a good time to use your device or respond to a message and when it's not. Just remember that you can't always be available for everyone, but God can. Jesus can handle all our needs, and sometimes you need to take a break from technology for your own well-being or to spend time with people in person. Trust God to help you use technology wisely so it benefits both you and others. Our key verse is found in Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. And my God will give you everything you need because of his great riches in Christ Jesus. And our key thought, use technology wisely. Would you like to get the Keys for Kids stories in the mail for free? Just ask your parents to sign up for a free subscription at keysforkids.org slash get keys. That's keysforkids.org slash get keys. I'm Zach with Keys for Kids. Keys for Kids.